Welcome back to another episode of the Arc Switch Survival Guide. Today I am really excited because we are going to tame an Argent Avis. Now Argent Avis are amazing flyers. There are so many uses for them and they can do tons of things including carrying dinosaurs through the air all over the island. So it will be incredibly helpful to have one but they are very difficult to tame. Imagine a T-Rex with wings. That's about what an Argent is like. So today we are going to build a trap and modify our raft fortress, and then we are going to try to tame an Argent by luring it down from the mountain in the Redwood Forest and getting it stuck inside the raft. Now this will be a two-part episode, and today we are going to focus on actually getting to the Argent, finding it inside the Redwood Forest Mountain, and getting the Argent to chase us all the way down to our raft fortress. And the next episode will focus on actually taming the Argent. So before we tame an Argent Avis in Ark, we actually need to find it. And this is all of the locations where you can find an Argent Avis in the island on Ark. Now all of the green boxes are places you can find common Argent Avis, and it's very likely that they'll show up in those green areas. The orange boxes are pretty rare, but you can still find them. And most of the time Argents live around mountains at the top of some of the tallest mountains on Ark. But you can find them a couple other places too. Now our main base is right here on the southern island and the closest place I can get Argents is that mountain right in the middle of the Redwoods. So I have traveled up this river, got stuck in the swamp for a little while, and now we are sitting right below this Redwood Forest. And I've placed my base right here, specifically so we could first of all make a sap tap in a Redwood tree right over here, and then then head up into the mountains with our Tapehara and actually tame an Argent Avis. Now this place will have a lot of high level Argents and I've set my settings to max out dinosaur level before I'm heading up there. So hopefully we'll see some real high level Argents up there. Now other places you can find an Argent if you are on the west coast, this spot is actually great. You can often find one right on the beach so if you have a raft taming pen like mine it's a good place to go. You can also send a flyer up the mountain in this area, and this island right here is full of carnivores, but there's also a lot of Argent Avis right there. So that's another good spot to pull up in a raft and see if you can tame one. So before we actually go and get the Argent Avis, we need to make a taming pen that we can trap it in. Now I have tamed an Argent Avis on Ark before with uh, no taming pen, I just used a hit and run technique, but it took like like over an hour, maybe two hours to finally get the thing down because they are so hard to tame if you're just flying around. So this time I'm going to modify that technique and actually build a taming pen to trap the Argent, which will be a lot easier. Now if you want to watch me struggle to tame an Argent on my Ragnarok series, I'll put a link in the description and you can watch me fumble around for a long time, but uh, this technique will be a lot easier. Now I will admit I am learning as I go since this is my first time making an Argent trap, but I originally tried this just walling in the courtyard and putting ceilings in on the normal taming pen that I use for my raft. But it's a lot different when you're taming an Argent because a normal taming pen you just need four walls and you can lure a dino into it and then fly out the top. But since the Argent can fly too, you need a ceiling and you can't escape nearly as easily. So I've created a ceiling that was originally just two stories tall, but that actually didn't work so I had to modify it to be a three-story tall opening with ramps that funnel the Argent down into a two-story tall space. I also need a long straight runway to get the Argent to chase me into this trap, so I've got to clear out all of the trees and I just went ahead and knocked down most of the trees that were in the way. Now I found out these ramps are just a little bit too low. They've got too steep of a slope in order to actually 
fit into this opening. So I demolish the ramps and take three. I'm using just a sloped wooden ceiling for this part right here. And even though it's a little harder to get it to snap properly, you have to use a triangle ceiling. I've now got a pretty good little ramp and that's going to funnel the Argent down into the two-story section. It's okay if there's an opening about the width of one wall because Argents are pretty big and they can't fit through that. So now I've got a good trap laid. My uh, base has been repurposed as an Argent Avis taming pen. And if I can get him to chase me straight through the entire corridor, he should be pretty well trapped. It should be reasonably easy to get him to funnel into there. And then if I can slam the door shut before it catches up to me, I should be able to trap him inside. So the next step is actually finding an Argent, and I should be able to find some high-level Argents at the top of the mountain in the middle of the Redwoods. And I want to get my bearings and kind of figure out where the lay of the land is so that I can find my base when I'm being chased and running for my life from a high-level Argent Avis. Those things move reasonably fast for a flyer. You can still outrun them as long as you're sprinting, but it should be pretty pretty intense once we finally get one chasing us. So I'm going to need to know I'm going in the right direction and be able to find my base really easily from the air while that thing is chasing me. And it looks like we've got a purple quality loot drop right on the top of this mountain, which is great. Now this Tapehara that I'm using has pretty high stamina for a Tapehara. He's a reasonably high level and uh, I've put a bunch of points into his stamina, so I should be able to keep flying for a long time time. But I also brought a whole bunch of stimulants in his inventory so I can actually pause for a minute, feed him a bunch of stimulants to get some stamina back and let him keep flying. Now this is also a great place to pick up crystal. There's quite a few crystal deposits right in front of me. So if you need crystal, this is a great spot. There's also a ton of really rich metal nodes. Now once I successfully tame an Argent Avis, I can carry an Ankylosaur up to the top of this mountain and get obscene amounts of crystal and metal and then I can use the Argent to fly it all back to my base at the bottom of the mountain. So before I started this episode, I changed my settings to get dinosaurs to spawn at the highest level I could, and it looks like we've got a very high level female Argent Avis, which is perfect. And as a nice bonus, it happens to be a cool white color. I actually really like the color on this guy. Now to my left, there's a bright red Argent, but it looks like this is exactly what we're looking for. And of course, there is a Tyrannosaur chasing after the bird, and it's picking a fight with a whole bunch of, uh, I can't remember what these guys are. I think they're Kentrosaurs or something like that, but it's also got a saber tooth tiger and everybody is just in a massive brawl down there. So I'm going to see if I can tick off this T-Rex and get him to leave these guys alone because I want this Argent alive and, uh, oh, okay, maybe it's going to fly over this way. Hopefully I can get it ticked off and chasing me and get this thing away from these nasty dinos. So so I'm just going to go ahead and peck this guy. And he is mad. You can hear him chasing me like that. Now, before this episode, I finally figured out how to look behind me, which I did not know how to do on PC until just now. But the right alt key, if you're using arc on PC, is what actually gives you that uh, rear view camera. And that's going to be really helpful because I won't have to actually turn around my camera while something's chasing me. And we're going to do a lot of this episode is going to be that Argent Avis chasing us. Now this will be the first of a two-part series to tame this Argent, and today we're just going to get him down to the mountain and see if we can get him into the uh, raft and get him trapped, but in the next episode we'll finish the tame, and it's just going to take quite a while, so now feel free to use the timestamps in the description of this video to skip straight to the parts you want to see, and uh, if you want to jump straight to where I've got this guy down at the bottom of the mountain, feel free to do that, but we're going to do 
a lot of chasing to try to get this Argent to come after us and follow us all the way down to our raft. Now an Argent Avis will mess you up pretty badly, but because this Tapehara is the product of a lot of breeding, he's got a ton of health. He was born with like 2000 HP, so I'm not too worried about him dying from this Argent. But if you're flying on like a Pteranodon, especially if it's got low HP, be really careful that that Argent does not actually hit you. Now, in order to keep it chasing you, you want to run in front of it and get it to actually see you in its line of sight. And they won't usually aggro you until they get reasonably close to you, but uh, I'm just really wanting to tick this guy off, so I'm going to fly in really close and maybe within range of his talons. Now, as long as I'm sprinting, I can outrun him pretty quickly, but uh, you know, you may, depending on your flyer, have a harder time outrunning an Argent. But if you get too far away, they lose interest pretty easily, and even if they stay close, they will eventually just space out and fly off, just like that guy just did. That's where the rear view camera really comes in handy, because I can see when he's just doesn't care about me anymore. Now I'm trying to pace myself and sprint off and on just to uh, make sure I don't get too far away from him. So I'm actually purposely slowing down and letting him stay pretty close to me. I also have to be really careful because if I run out of stamina in the Redwood Forest, I pretty much am as good as dead and I'm going to lose my flyer. Also, if I get too close to the trees, there are tigers in the trees that will jump out and just pounce me out of the air. So it's a really dangerous place to be over these redwoods. If I was not just happening to be so close to the redwood forest here, I would definitely tame this guy on the beach on the western side in that spot that I showed you. It's so much safer there. Especially if you're in a raft fortress, you can just park on the beach and you don't have anything else to worry about but I'm pretty sure we can pull this off anyway. And once again, I do not want to get too close to these trees, but I can finally see the edge of the forest. Nope, 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 nope. Do not want to let him go down into those trees. Now, just like I can get pounced out of the air, he can too, and it's the worst thing ever if the guy you're trying to tame gets killed. So I think we just about got this guy out of the trees. We're not out of the woods yet, huh? No. Uh, I can see our raft down there. It's the area that it's parked. So we're just about there. But but this guy keeps spacing out, oh my gosh. Now I don't normally attack something in flight, but it's kind of hard to get their attention sometimes and it's worth doing some damage to this guy just to be able to get him down here. It's such a high level, I'm really not worried about him dying in the process. Oh my gosh, is he spacing out again? This guy is the worst, come on. Okay, I'm getting really low on stamina, so I'm going to go ahead and rest in my tree platform because I know this is safe. Before I headed up here, I rested here for a little while, so I know it is tiger-free in this particular tree. And, of course, the Argent is flying right down to that Parasair. And is that a snake down there? Oh boy. This guy is going to get himself killed. This is not cool. I think I picked the dumbest Argent ever to try to tame. Of course, he's picking a fight with a Titan Boa, because that's a good idea. So I'm going to try to peck the bird and the snake to see if I can either kill the snake or get the bird to chase me. Either way, I've got to get this broken up. Okay, whew. Looks like we've got the Argent chasing us again, and I've got to keep him away from that spot because that Titan Boa could knock him out, and that could actually be really bad. So yeah, I think we're going to be okay here. Now this area right here, I have shot down just about every living thing around here, specifically because I want to have a lot of empty space where this guy can mill around and fly and land and I don't have to worry about him dying. So we should be, oh come on, spacing out again. Argents are so hard to keep track of. Nope, don't get close to the trees. This could be really bad. Come back, come back. Okay, here we go. Whew. Yeah, every time he gets close to those trees, I just, I know some Thylaco Leo is just going to jump out and pounce him. So the first time I tamed an Argent, I spent most of the time playing tag with him because they, oh my gosh, come on, get back here. They are so hard to keep their attention. All right, there we go. Just gonna let him hit me there so he can finally come back after me. 
All right, so we are just about to my raft. Now, this is attempt number one, and I took quite a lot of tries here. You can see the forest is still there behind the raft because this is when the raft was still just two stories high in my taming pen. So this was my first unsuccessful attempt at trying to get this Argent to go into the trap. Now, you can see this is just barely tall enough to actually get me into, and of course, the Argent flies a a little bit higher above the ground than I do, which makes it way harder to get him in here. So it looks like he's going to land, but that's actually okay because we shot down everything before I turned off my uh, plant turrets. So, you know, hindsight is 2020, and uh, as I'm watching this again while I'm editing this video, I'm realizing that if I were to put my Tapehara inside the raft and try to get this guy to chase me on foot, it would be a lot easier for me to run into the cage, slam the doors shut, and get the guy to fly low enough to actually get him into this opening. But without the funnel, it is incredibly hard to try to get him into this tiny little opening because it's barely, barely high enough to actually fit him into. So you can see here, he keeps bouncing off the ceiling and just getting kind of stuck here, but not quite stuck enough. So yeah, there you go. I was gonna try to slam the door and see if I could get him wedged into the ceiling and stuck that way, but uh, he obviously wasn't quite stuck enough in order for that to work. So yeah, this design is just not gonna work this way. I actually spent probably 10 minutes flying back and forth, getting him really close into the trap but every time he ends up just barely squeezing out the top. So I'm gonna have to modify this. So I'm actually flying away from the base and trying to get him into a safe area so that he can just mill around a little bit while I come back and modify my raft design. So at the very beginning, I showed you how I was building a couple of ramps so that the opening would be taller. And that's actually what I had to come back and do. So I got him to fly back up to a safer area Area, and then I was able to come back and modify that. So we're going to go ahead and take a break here and end this episode. And this will be just part one of the Argent Taming. But in the next episode, we're going to come back and try once again to trap him in this base. And we'll use the modified design, which will actually work. So be sure to subscribe to this channel and enable notifications so it will let you know when part two, the exciting conclusion of our Argent Avis Tame, comes out. And as soon as that episode's available, we'll put a link in the description of this video to jump straight to it. And if you liked this episode, be sure to like and drop a comment. Let us know if you have any suggestions for taming an Argent Avis, and we will see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching this video from the Ark Survival Guide. If you enjoyed it or found it helpful, please like this video and subscribe to our channel so we can bring you more great guides like this one. Ark is an amazing game, but there is so much to learn before you can really enjoy it. We are dedicated to bringing you high quality guides, tutorials, and let's play videos that are fun, helpful, clean, and suitable for the entire family. There's a tutorial in this series for everything we have done so far in this video. Check out these playlists for more episodes from this series and other guides to help you enjoy your journey on ARC.